Hi guys and welcome back to a new tutorial. In today's video we are going to learn how to make an 8 petal flower. This is a crochet project and is really easy to make. This means that you just need to know the basic stitches and techniques to make it. Remember that in the description box below and also here in the screen you are going to find the links to the stitches and techniques used in this video, as well as the timeline. So, let's begin! The materials that we are gonna need are Crochet hook Yarn Scissors and Tapestry needle The flower that you saw at the beginning of the tutorial was 3.1 inches long and wide in my case, I use a D3 hook and a sport weight yarn. If you use this type of hook and yarn, in 2 inches you should have 9 stitches. To make this flower in a magic ring, we are going to start working 3 chain stitches. Now, 16 double crochet. And to finish the first round, work a slip stitch to join the first and the last double crochet. Start the second round by working 3 chain stitches. Now, skip a double crochet of the last round, and in the next one work a slip stitch. Now, repeat this pattern 7 more times, to have a total of 8 spaces of 3 chains each. I recommend you to make the last slip stitch in the first chain of the round. Now it's time to start working the petals. And to make them, start with a slip stitch in the nearest 3 chain space. Right after, work 4 chain stitches, 3 double treble crochet, 4 chain stitches, and finally a slip stitch. Now, repeat this pattern in all the spaces of 3 chains. To begin with the flower, we must have a magic ring, which is a basic technique whose tutorial is already in the channel. Once that we have the magic ring, we are going to work 2 chain stitches, to have a total of 3 chain stitches at the beginning of the round. Remember that the first chain stitch of the round is the one that we work to secure the magic ring. To make a chain stitch, yarn over, and pull the hook through the loop that was already on it. Now. Repeat it one more time. Once that we have the 3 chain stitches, we are going to work 16 double crochet in the magic ring. To make a double crochet, yarn over. Pass the hook through the ring. Yarn over again, pull the hook, and by now you must have 3 loops on it. Yarn over and pull the hook through the first 2 loops. Yarn over again and pull the hook through the last 2 loops on it. Now, keep working this stitch until you have a total of 16 double crochet. To finish the first round, in the first double crochet of the round, we are gonna work a slip stitch. To make it, pass the hook through the top of the stitch. Yarn over, pull the hook, and now pull the hook again but now, through the first loop on it, counting from right to left. 
Once that we have finished the flower center, it's time to begin with the second round. First, we are gonna work 3 chain stitches. Now, skip one double crochet of the last round and in the next one work a slip stitch. For this round, the pattern is 3 chain stitches Skip 1 double crochet of the last round and in the next stitch, work a slip stitch Repeat it until you have 8 spaces of 3 chains each. To finish the second round, we are gonna work a slip stitch in the first chain of the round. In the round number 3, we are going to work the petals of the flower. Remember that the next pattern is going to be the one that we are going to work in each space of 3 chains. First, make a slip stitch in the nearest 3 chain space. Work 3 chain stitches. and 3 double treble crochet. To make a double treble crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook 3 times. Pass the hook through the 3 chain space. Yarn over, pull the hook and by now you must have 5 loops on it. Yarn over and pull the hook through the first 2 loops. Yarn over and pull the hook through the next 2 loops. Yarn over again and pull the hook through the next 2 loops. Yarn over one last time and pull the hook through the 2 loops left. Once that we have finished the 3 double treble crochet, we are gonna make 3 chain stitches. And a slip stitch to finish. And this is how the first pattern looks. Now repeat this pattern in all the spaces of 3 chains, to have a total of 8 petals. And this is how the flower looks with all its petals. To finish, close the magic ring and finish off. You can hide the leftovers in the back of the stitches. I strongly recommend you to use two different colors of yarns. And this was everything for today's video. If you enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, share it in your social networks and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
so you can be the first one to know when a new tutorial is available. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you keep having an amazing day and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!